So good morning, everyone. And here we are at the fourth day of Advent. I don't know about you, but I feel like this time has really flown. Yes. <laughs> Just yeah. crazy flown. Oh, yes. I my baby suit, yeah. yeah. It always seems to fly. I always see. So we light the Christ candle in the center. I really prefer matches. <laughs> I know you're really good at that. Well, thank you. So we've been spending time talking about stillness and peace and silence and learning to be still in a, in the midst of the bustle of the holiday season and. Hopefully through this time, we've taken some time to be still with God. Now the reflection is that the more time we do spend being still, the more we experience God's deep love for us. Where before we were too busy to notice, now we see signs of God's presence everywhere when you take time to look for it. We understand that God is preparing us to receive the most profound expression of love, and that's in Jesus Christ. So we ask you to consider how you experience God's love for yourself and for the world and consider how in our day-to-day -day life we can share that love with other people. So there's two readings. There's uh, from, from Isaiah 43. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your stead. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. And then from John. This is the conversation with Nicodemus where he says, um, the wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. And Nicodemus asks, how can this be? You are Israel's teacher, and you do not understand these things? Very truly, I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But still you people do not accept your testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. Then how will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. We are celebrating that. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.